Welcome back in news just coming in where there has been a grenade attack at a Jammu bus stand. Now the Jammu and Kashmir police are at the spot now and the entire area has been cordoned off as per initial reports by the Jammu police. At least eight people have been injured in this blast and have been taken uh, or rather shifted to a nearby hospital. These are the first visuals we are getting from that site where that grenade attack has taken place uh, at a bus stand, at a busy bus stand in Jammu and Kashmir. As you can see, there are large crowds there, many shops as well in this area. Uh, this is where several intercity uh, buses take off from and you can see that senior police officials have now arrived at the spot. Uh, as Ishan was pointing out earlier, that uh, Jammu has been relatively safer uh, when it comes to terror attacks or explosions or, or such activity. We don't know at this point, there's no confirmation whether this is a terror attack or not. But we know that eight people have now been injured and shifted to a hospital. Ishan Wani, my colleague, is now joining us live for the very latest on this. Ishan, what is the latest that uh, the police is indicating? Well, sources in the police are indicating that this is a grenade attack uh, that has taken place in the Jammu bus stand. Remember, the, 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 this has come after a long, long time. Something which police was warning about that there may be attempts to destabilize Jammu as well because Jammu has been relatively calm. So, an attempt to destabilize Jammu and something which uh, the police and uh, CRPS and the Indian Intelligence Services were indicating and asking people to be vigilant about. Uh, but this particular attack has once again uh, thrown the ball in the police's uh, court because they will have to now reassess the situation and the security scenario in the Jammu region as well. Around six to eight people have been injured with multiple wounds, have been shifted to the Jammu hospital. The hospital is close by, so we're expecting that many of them would survive. There are reports that uh, some of them are critical, uh, but what we can tell you is that this is a grenade blast. That's what the sources are clearly indicating that this has been a grenade attack. The initial inputs and from the assessment that the police has done, it seems like a grenade attack in the Jammu's uh, bus stand. As I reported earlier, there's a very busy market and something which will be chosen to, to to be a target for the militants uh, and uh, uh, anybody who will try to cause harm to the people. But really unfortunate that the, the grenade has been lobbed inside that particular busy market where people travel to different places. Uh, now, uh, the priority of the authorities will be to brief up the security, to bring more personnel on the streets in Jammu so that there are no more grenade attacks and try to nab the person who has lobbed this grenade. Since uh, there are CCTV cameras around the bus stand, because it's a busy market and something which is on the radar of the police and the security forces, so that is where uh, the security forces may be able to nail the person who has lobbed this particular grenade. Uh, but uh, police is investigating the case and there are sketchy details still emerging and uh, something uh, which wasn't expected by the police, which wasn't expected by the police. But remember, there is a deployment of police, as I reported earlier. Jammu Kashmir police is always deployed around that particular bus stand where uh, this grenade has been logged. Uh, now it remains for the police uh, to establish and nab the person who has arrested this, uh, who has logged this particular grenade. Uh, as I reported earlier, that there are signs that. Uh, militants from Kashmir are trying to go outside the Kashmir Valley and cause damage to the outside uh, regions and the state. Uh, remember, yesterday NIA filed a charge sheet against a resident of Pulwama against uh, lobbing a grenade at a police station in Punjab. So this tells you the gravity of the event and how uh, now the, the, the activities are being tried to carry out these attacks. The militants are trying to carry these attacks outside the Kashmir Valley as well. Right, and now, uh, Ishan, we have some preliminary sh visuals of this area and there are large crowds, but uh, since then, has the police been able to clear up this area? Are there fewer people here? We know that the, the area of the blast has been caught off, but we still see a lot of people here. So as the investigation goes on, will the buses be stopped or is it going to be uh, you know, business as usual in, uh, in a few hours from now? Well, I don't think that there will be business as usual for some hours because uh, this is a place which is full of crowd and uh, this is something uh, we may also see protests erupt after this particular attack against uh, the, those people who have carried out this attack. Uh, when the grenade attack was carried out in the Jammu last time, it was just uh, around one and a half year back and then we saw that anti-Pakistan protests erupting in the Jammu. So police will have to deal with that also uh, and at the same time, uh, you know, uh, try to, you know, investigate this particular case, which has now become interesting given the fact that the sources are indicating there is a grenade attack. Uh, there are several things that are pointing towards uh, this particular being a militancy-related case, given the fact that a target was chosen somewhere which is, uh, uh, you know, busy and hustle and bustle with the people. Where crowds are always there, uh, so that the aim was to cause a maximum damage. And that is what has happened here as well. But was the police ready? Was the police, uh, did they have any intel input that 
this sort of attack would be carried out in the Jammu region. That remains to be seen. That is for the police to assess. But still, it's a failure in, on part of intelligence given the fact that Pulwama had already uh, given some indications and had alerted the security agencies in the Kashmir Valley to deal with such issues, uh, be it Jammu or be it Kashmir. But this, uh, this time around, the target has been chosen Jammu. And uh, now we'll have to wait and watch for the police to gather the details around the spot because the area is largely crowded. So that is where the police will have to be really, really clever and uh, very, uh, you know, intelligent to collect these evidences that may be lying around. And something uh, which we haven't seen in the Kashmir Valley, we traditionally see that people run away from the spot. But because of the fact that Jammu has been largely peaceful, so people don't understand the gravity of the situation. And that is something which police has to uh, control and try to keep the crowds away from the spot so that they can gather these evidences and pieces and materials. But it will be something which wouldn't go down well with the security agencies, given the fact that this attack has happened just some weeks after the Pulwama attack. Right. And also, Ishan, now, as you were talking about uh, this earlier, that uh, post the Pulwama attack, there's been heightened security, obviously in the Kashmir side, obviously in South Kashmir as well, along the line of control as well. But what about Jammu? Now, this is a busy bus stand, as you're pointing out. Are there several check posts in the lead up to this bus stand as many intercity uh, buses go back and forth? Or has it been uh, pretty much the same? Well, there are police uh, personnel deployed around that particular place, given the fact that the buses from here leave to different places, but not as robust as you would see in Kashmir Valley, because it has been by and large peaceful, so that is right. what keeps police... Uh, uh, Ishan, I'm just system. going to interrupt you there for a second. We have a police reaction coming in. Let's listen in. It seems that uh, the grenade has been lobbed from outside. It possibly had... Uh, rolled beneath the bus and it has caused injuries to approximately 18 persons. Uh, they have all been shifted to the GMC and they are being taken care of. Uh, uh, you, have you identified anybody, any group, or you were having any kind of inputs in this regard? The generic inputs are always there. We are, uh, as you may see, the deployments had been made. Uh, we, we, we were working on uh, leads. We are working on leads all the time whenever we get generic inputs. But there was nothing very specific about this. What is the case of motor sound right there? Because already security agencies were on high alert after this Pulwama attack and then the earth strike. Yes. What, uh, what do you think is the motor sound there? What was the purpose and intention behind this explosion in the heart of Jammu City? Well, that, uh, all, it, that's always uh, true. Whenever there is a uh, heightened uh, state of alert, we strengthen our uh, checking, we strengthen our frisking. But there is always a possibility of someone is slipping through. And uh, it, this uh, one seems to be a, a, a case like that. Uh, obviously, the intention is always to disturb the uh, communal peace and harmony. And uh, I would request everyone to maintain calm. And the police is working on all the leads uh, that are available, and we are collecting evidence, and we are sure to hunt them down. I know it is too so early to ask you this question. Yeah, this is the second time the person has been targeted. Any, any, any information that whether this person must have come from Kashmir Valley or he was that, already... That, that I would not be able to comment at the moment unless and until I work on the leads. We have been talking to right now IGP all right, the police are confirming now on record that 18 people have been injured as of now. 18 people, uh, so the number has gone off significantly. He also pointed out there that it is a grenade attack and a grenade was rolled under a bus and that is what had exploded. So more information and details coming in there that a grenade uh, was rolled under a bus and that exploded and that 18 people have been injured now and it's a matter of investigation who was behind this attack also pointing out that there has been increased deployment ever since the Pulwama attack uh, and there has been heightened security. He said that there was no specific intelligence of any sort of attack on a bus stand but there's been generic, generic inputs that have come in uh, from the intel agencies about attacks and that are possible. Didn't take many other questions, but of course, this is a critical uh, situation for the police. This has happened in the heart of Jammu at a busy bus stand, close to a busy market. And now we know that 18 people have been injured. This is the latest that we're getting in. The area has been cordoned off. There is an um, immense number of police personnel there on the spot. Uh, we don't know if other buses to and fro have been stopped as of now. Presumably, they have. Um, there are several check posts in this area, as Ishan was pointing out. Uh, 
uh, and and Ishan was also pointing out about the fact that Jammu has been relatively peaceful um, and has seen fewer terror activities. Uh, however, uh, this has happened in the heart of Jammu at daytime, and uh, now it is a matter of investigation. What exactly happened? Whether there was one person, two, or many more, who is responsible for this as well? Ishan Wani is back with us on the phone line. Ishan, uh, well, the police say confirming that the number of injured has gone up significantly now to 18 and that a grenade was uh, sort of rolled under a bus and that's what exploded. Well, it's absolutely right. Now the number of injured has gone to 18 and police clearly coming on record and saying that this was a grenade which was hurled at this particular place and it rolled down and came under the bus and then this is where the blast happened. Uh, something now the police will be treating it as a militancy case uh, given the fact that this is a grenade attack which we haven't seen common in Jammu region. Uh, the 18 uh, people have been injured. They must have had splinter injuries and some of them are said to be in a critical condition. Uh, the police will have to investigate this case. But remember, again, police have made an appeal of maintaining the communal harmony in the Jammu because Jammu has seen some communal tension uh, when the Pulama attack took place. So that is what the police has been completely warning the residents of Jammu uh, to maintain peace. We saw the curfew was imposed for several days in Jammu. Again, a message of peace uh, and to have a communal harmony coming in from the top of police official. And again, our police has also said this, that uh, there hasn't been any, you know, intel input that was related to this specific grenade attack. It has come to, as a surprise for the police as well. But the fact that there was a brief in the security uh, in the Jammu region as well, there would have been extra checkpoints. There are from time to time police puts up extra checkpoints and uh, is also sometimes used to actually go and uh, clean, sanitize these areas where they find suspects. Uh, because of the fact that LOC is closed from the Jammu region, and it's not so, it's not a hinterland. There are no mountains, so it's easy for the, if any militant has to cross through the line of control and come to Jammu. So that is where it gets interesting. You have somebody cross the line of control and try to disturb the coming harmony in Jammu. Because right now, there would, there are, there are big challenges to, uh, for the police to have a, uh, communal harmony in the valley and on the other hand there will be uh, a case which are now being which is now being investigated because police will have to arrest and nab the person who was involved in this particular blast as soon as possible because the, uh, the person may try to hurl the grenade at some other place as i pointed out earlier this is a very busy market and that, that is that is why the target was chosen such where they could cause maximum damage there are shops there are business establishments there are also uh, you know buses which leave from Jammu to, to different places and that is where the target has been chosen this time around. But police will have to nab the person as soon as possible. There are CCTV cameras around their bus stand and uh, police will have to look for the clues and pieces and try to avoid uh, letting people come close to the scene of the attack given the fact there may be evidence which may point out towards the person who was involved in this particular blast. Absolutely, uh, Ishan, that they will have to look into this. And also about the question on the specifics of the intel on such attacks in uh, in the wake of the Pulwama attack. He said there were no uh, specific intelligence inputs, but general inputs about uh, there should be heightened security. But you have been pointing out that there's been heavy deployment here, there are check posts. Uh, how, did they, how did this man or men go past that with the grenade will be something that the police will have to look into. Well, uh, this particular case has been interesting given the fact that the police have been caught by surprise, as said by earlier, the top cop of giving the bite and talking to media saying that uh, we did not have expect this particular attack. There was no input, intel input about this particular grenade explosion. But police by and large has been deployed, uh, be it the highway. Remember, this bus stand is not far from the highway which connects Jammu to Srinagar. Uh, so there are additional checkpoints around that particular place. But the fact is that this has happened at a time after the Pulwama attack, which may again heighten the tension in the Jammu Kashmir given the fact that it is clearly uh, targeting civilians this time around because there are no more, uh, no, 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 not a huge number of security forces are on the streets as compared to Kashmir in the Jammu region. So, so, so the civilians become an easy target and that is something, uh, you know, trying to hurl a grenade in a crowded place uh, and trying to run away is the easiest way possible because once you hurl the grenade, you try to take advantage of the crowd gathered at a particular place and try to run away and that seems to be the case that it's a hit and run case. You lob the grenade to, uh, to hurl it at people and then try to run away. Uh, but again, this all points out at uh, the larger 
lot of point that the police officer was making that there should be a communal harmony in the Jammu region because we have seen that there are communal tensions in the Jammu. We saw that arson taking place after the Purnam attack in the Jammu region and it was under curfew for several days. And uh, that is a larger issue that the police has to deal with. There has to be a communal harmony that has to be maintained in the Jammu region. That will be the priority for the police as well. They won't let any, uh, you know, international element to hold any protest or to uh, lead to any arson or uh, they have to impose any uh, curfew in the Jammu region. So that will be the, also the priority. At the same time, the forces will be dealing with two things now. Uh, the, uh, one is law and order and second is the investigation of the case. Because interestingly, Jammu is a place where you may not have shelter for the militants and uh, something where pol police has an upper hand as compared to Kashmir Valley. Uh, so that is where police will have a lead as soon as possible. They will look for the people and look for the CCTV cameras because of the fact that this area is something which is closely guarded and monitored by the police, uh, given the fact that there are large crowd crowds. Uh, so that is where the police will have leads, and that is where something police will investigate in. But initially, the police said it was a, uh, it was a mysterious blast. They don't know the nature of the blast. That also tells you uh, that uh, police was caught by the surprise. They did not expect any grenade hurling incident taking place in the Jammu region. Uh, but as far as investigation is concerned, police is looking for the clues. My sources are telling me that they have gathered pieces and uh, pieces from the blast site, and they are trying to investigate that to what led to this particular blast. Was there any person uh, in the Jammu who had he traveled to the from Kashmir to Jammu to carry out this attack, or is there a local, uh, anybody from the local community involved in particular, this particular attack? All right, Ishan, stay with us. Uh, let's also get you some eyewitness accounts of what exactly happened uh, this afternoon when this uh, a grenade exploded. I see the वैसे यहां पे एक बहुत ही धमाकेदार आवाज आई और उस आवाज को आवाज को सुनते ही मतलब कि ऐसा लगा कुछ यहां टायर फटा या कोई धमाका हुआ उसके 2 मिनट बाद पता लगा यहां पे ग्रेनेड फटा मैं आया यहां पे देखा मैंने 10 12 लोग बुरी मतलब कि तीन चार लोग तो ज्यादा तरीके से जख्मी थे टोटल 10 12 लोग थे वो जो जख्मी हुए all right, so that eyewitness of was saying that initially many people thought that a tire had uh, uh, bursted and there was a loud sound, but eventually many people were seen uh, lying injured and about 10 to 12 people at least were taken, rushed to a hospital. Now that number has been confirmed to 18. We know 18 people have been injured in that grenade explosion at that Jammu bus stand and the blast, we believe, took place around noon uh, this afternoon and the injured have been shifted to the government medical college in Jammu. The area we know has been cordoned off. Uh, as well and as the IG police was pointing out, MK Sina was pointing out there uh, that a grenade was rolled under a bus and that's what had explosed, uh, exploded. Uh, in the last couple of days we've seen a heightened security in this area. We know uh, that there's heavy police deployment even in Jammu. There are several check posts at this bus, uh, bus stand as well. This is a busy bus stand in the heart of Jammu city. Several shops, eateries here as well and many intercity buses are uh, a travel back and forth from here as well. We don't know if the bus uh, bus stand has been completely closed off. We know the area has been cordoned off. At the moment, we don't know whether buses will be allowed to take uh, to to leave from here or come into Jammu, and, and whether there will be a curfew-like situation imposed, as Ashan has been pointing out. Jammu has been relatively safe uh, and the injured includes, we believe, the bus driver and the conductor as well. The grenade was placed under the bus, the police has said, and it is unclear if there were people inside the bus or outside of it at the bus stand that were injured. Uh, and the police say that looking into all possible leads, there are CCTV cameras in the area as well. We are collecting evidence and will hunt down uh, those responsible, is what the IG police of Jammu has said a short while ago. And visuals are showing security personnel uh, at the spot as well and uh, heightened activity. But there are large crowds in this area as well. And Fishan is still with us on the phone line. Ishan, uh, that eyewitness there showing that, uh, saying that the, initially they thought that there was a tire that had exploded. Uh, but also information that we're picking up now is that obviously the bus driver and the conductor also injured in this attack. So possibly the attack happened when people were in the bus. That's right, because from the pictures and the videos that I'm seeing right now, it seems that the bus was going out of the bus stand because this is the lane which 
uh, leaps the bus outside the bus stand. So this has happened around the place when people were inside the bus. It clearly indicates that somebody was actually waiting for the bus to come out to cause the maximum damage. Uh, but uh, we're looking at the looking at the eyewitnesses bite. What he's saying, it seems that it's not a small blast because he's saying that he has heard the blast when he was around that particular place. Not a small explosion that has taken place. Uh, a well-planned uh, attack. It seems that the people, uh, that the, the security forces, and but the people were caught by surprise. Even the fact that there are no, uh, you know, such uh, such alarms that are placed in the Jammu to avert such attacks because of the fact that there haven't been many militancy related cases in the Jammu region. But what I see from the images and what I am I'm gathering from the ground is that this is a that this is this is not a small blast that has taken place. This is actually a well-planned attack, and some part of the road has also, uh, you know, caused suffered some damage, and the people around. The particular case have been injured. Uh, now, given the fact that the IG has again appealed for calm, there may be protests in the Jammu because last time, as I pointed out earlier, that there was a grenade attack, there was a challenge for the police to deal with the law and order issues that, uh, that are there in the Jammu region because there were protests last time. But also, we have seen protests happening when, uh, whenever these activities are carried out in the Jammu region. So the police will have to be dealing with uh, multiple issues uh, from law and order uh, to these uh, grenade attacks now, because they will have. To, if there is a person who is uh, there to carry out these grenade attacks at multiple locations, uh, they will have to nab him down as soon as possible and track right. him down. Uh, given the fact that he may try to attack any other way, any other place, but there will be a check in the security, hmm. and I'm sure that their police has already briefed up the security across the region. Right. And in fact, uh, these are the visuals, fresh visuals we are getting of uh, those who were injured uh, at the spot and kiosk completely the minutes after that explosion took place. Let's also listen in once again to the IG Jammu who spoke to the press a short while ago. It seems that uh, the grenade has been lobbed from outside. It possibly had uh, rolled beneath the bus and it has caused injuries to approximately 18 persons. Uh, they have all been shifted to the GMC and they are being taken care of. There is a uh, heightened uh, state of alert. We strengthen our uh, checking, we strengthen our frisking. But there is always a possibility of someone is slipping through. And uh, it, this uh, one seems to be a, uh, a case like that. Uh, obviously, the intention is always to disturb the uh, communal peace and harmony. And uh, I would request everyone to maintain calm. And the police is working on all the leads uh, that are available, and we are collecting evidence, and we are sure to hunt them down. Right, so the IG Jammu there requesting people to keep calm and as we know now that these are the fresh visuals of those uh, injured and uh, and at least 18 people have been injured in that uh, grenade explosion at the main bus stand in Jammu this afternoon. The bus uh, stand is in the heart of the Jammu city. This happened approximately around noon. Uh, the injured included the bus driver and the conductor which means that there were presumably people inside the bus when this happened, when the grenade was rolled under uh, the bus and exploded. Now, uh, uh, it is unclear if, uh, if uh, of course, the area has been cordoned off. We don't know at this point whether buses to and from this area have been shut uh, or stopped. The police are working at all leads. We are... Uh, we are now uh, collecting all evidences what the police is saying. Now, Kuldeep Kora, the former DGP Jammu and Kashmir, is now joining us on the phone line for the very latest on this. And, sir, uh, thank you for talking to us. Your thoughts as we report that 18 people have been uh, injured in that grenade blast at the uh, in the busy Jammu bus stand, which is in the heart of Jammu city. Uh, police saying they don't have any leads as of now and that there was no specific intelligence on this. We're going to get Kuldeep Kora back in just a second but as I was pointing out, the police saying they're working on all leads and that they are collecting evidence and will uh, try to hunt down those responsible for this. And, the, uh, and there is heightened security here as, as we speak. Uh, the paramilitary forces, the police are in the area. There's heavy deployment here. Even before this attack, post Pulwama, we've seen heightened security uh, throughout Jammu and Kashmir. Also in Jammu, several check posts in this area because this is a busy bus stand. CCTV uh, footage hopefully have, would have captured some of the suspects or the one suspect that was responsible for this grenade attack. The injured have been taken to hospital and um, and initially, of course, eyewitnesses thought it was a tire burst. Uh, they, they heard a big blast but didn't know what exactly had happened. Uh, the locals took the injured to the hospital.
hospital in an ambulance. They have been taken to the main Jammu hospital. And from the visuals, clearly, this is a busy, busy time at this Jammu bus stand. And uh, the area has been cordoned off. Several shops here as well. Uh, the IG police uh, appealing for calm and hopefully there will be no curfew-like situation here. But Jammu has been relatively peaceful uh, all these years and all mostly the terror activities have taken place in in Srinagar side, uh, in Kashmir side and in South Kashmir particularly as well as near the line of control, the areas closer to the line of control where we've seen such attacks. Bulwama of course was a dreadful day when 40 of our CRPF men were killed and uh, uh, we know that many intercity buses go to and f uh, from here. The IG police was on the spot just a short while ago. Um, and they are collecting evidence on what has happened, but they have now uh, confirmed that this is a grenade attack. Kuldeep Kora is back with us, DG Jammu and Kashmir. So your thoughts today as we report that there's been uh, presumably a terror attack, a grenade-led blast in uh, in the busy bus stand in Jammu. And Kish in Jammu. You know, all the indications point to terror attack. Yes. And most likely in continuation to what happened in Pulwama. You know, after Pulwama incident, there were some incidents in Jammu where uh, some uh, arson took place and uh, some vehicles were put on fire by the mob who were angry at the terrorist attack in Pulwama. And possibly this attack is in relation to the developments which took place here in Jammu after Pulwama attack. Now, the modus operandi of this attack is uh, more or less clear. This happens to be handiwork, uh, this looks like a handiwork of visible Mujahideen Kader. And uh, most likely the local boys have been used for planting the hand grenade under the bus, which exploded and injuring 18 people, some of whom are serious also. Right, and, so, you, uh, right. so you're essentially that, uh, saying, yeah, you're essentially saying the grenade attack seems like a handiwork of the Hezbollah. Uh, we don't have any confirmation of this uh, at the moment, but Jammu has been relatively peace uh, as uh, you know over the years. So, so, what is the indication to this? The police, of course, saying they had no clear in intel on uh, uh, an explosion like this. No, uh, Jammu has been witnessing peace for last uh, many years, hmm. except for uh, one odd incident which has happened. Uh, year before last and now this time again. And uh, bus stand has been the favorite uh, ground for the militants to launch some attacks, uh, mainly because this area happens to be always crowded. And uh, the possibility of inflating more damage in this area is obviously larger than any other area. So, so they have tried to disturb the peace here. And uh, there has been heightened alert uh, all around after Pulwama attack. And uh, how this uh, militant escaped the notice and how he used the area to avoid the security forces in reaching there along with a hand grenade, that will be found out and it may not be a difficult case. It's uh, one of those cases which can be worked out very easily and possibly the CCTV is uh, uh, located in the area will provide a good clue about it. And the persons who, who have been acting as overground workers in Jammu also in the past, their interrogation can also reveal the source of the the attack and the place from where the hand grenade was transported to this area. Right. Kuldeep Kora, former DGP Jammu and Kashmir, thanks very much, sir, for joining us and sharing your thoughts today. Hopefully there will be clear evidence of who was responsible. Kuldeep Kora thinks that it is the handiwork of the Hizbul. Clearly, uh, the grenade attack uh, is a signature style of the Hizbul Mujahideen terror.